Right, I'm going to run Alberton live. Let's just go into the uh, Mac and just run. I've got quite a few music software there. Got Logic, Alberton Live, GarageBand, quite a few software overall. So we go to Alberton Live, wait for that to load up. Now, once it loads up, certain buttons will automatically load up on the APC itself. So Whatever you have there, you've got free channel banks, it will load it up automatically. So I'm just going to open a uh, recent uh, project. So all right, now I'm going to open a recent project that I've done. And watch how the MPC reacts once that project opens. So just wait for that. It switches itself up, off, waits for the Alberton to load up. And then regarding, watch how many tracks you have. Or how the levels are set it will come on accordingly so I don't know if you could see right now it's got certain clips already highlighted so that's basically indicating to me that I've got certain sound banks within each of those particular clips now you've got the activator right there that's indicating seven sorry eight rows are active to be played so I just my uh, volume there it's main master. If you go into Alberton right there, there you go. That's your main master level. So to play a clip, let's just play that one there. At the moment, I don't know if you could see it's orange. That's better. So anything that's uh, not that's ready to be played, it's orange. Anything that pretty much is playing right now, it will be highlighted in uh, in. Um, what you call it in the green button but pressing the shift button down it gives you certain um, more functions there so that way shift button down you're able to jump through each particular session view so right now I've got different session views all over the place at least a few of them so by pressing the shift button down you're able to quickly go through these session views so if I was to press that one down it literally went through that session view so if I was to press this one down, it zooms to the other one. So let me just demonstrate to you that what it's doing right there. It's pretty much going for different session views. So that way it's easier to uh, go through particular sort of parts. Then you've got your up and down controls. That will navigate through the overall interface. But at the same time, you don't need to look at the scheme. It pretty much does it here itself. So if I was to demonstrate, I go to the right. You see, it move, it's moving through the overall, um, the overview of your work. Moving to the left, it tells you this more down. So by highlighting the button down, it will go down. So you're moving through your session. So that's what that overall does. Of course, you've got your play and everything else. Um, and then you've got right here by pressing the shift button down. These highlight, so where you could select the favors to be used as a pen and uh, so, so forth. So let's just play a clip, demonstrate to you right there what it looks like. Uh, another example of pressing the shift down and stopping all will stop everything. So that will make everything light up in sort of a orangey color. So let's start a clip off. I've got a clip loaded here. So that will loop continuously. If you want to stop that clip where you've got stop all, it just stopped that clip. So that's an example of that. So if I was to play that clip and this clip, Wait for it to just play it there. So you've got two clips playing. You've got your volume control, so right down here. Next level going down, you've got your too much bass. So I'm going to pan these out 
shift button, it was on level. I select the pan and now watch how so it pans itself for different side of the speakers. Same with the bait. So that's what that basically does. <clears throat> I'll just show you up here how it pans out each particular track. So that's a pretty good function there by pressing the shift button, select what you want, it will pan it out, it will adjust the volume however you want. I want to mute this channel here. That's been muted. I want to play it. I want to do solo, so I just want to solo this one here. Which will just solo it up. Take that off. Let's play more tunes there. Launch another clip. Switch that clip off. So you got certain clips playing. If I just want to launch what's in here, I'll just press the main launch scene. So it blocks everything out and it's only playing that one scene right there. If you want everything to be played again, whenever you're ready, mute that one. volume if it's too loud again you could launch particular clips that's pretty much what it is let's just focus on one Put a different effects on here. Shift button down. Let's have a look what's in that one. So that's pretty much it. <clears throat> that's what the MP APC sorry, looks like. And if I wanted to record, I'll give an example of a MIDI mode if I can. So the MIDI mode, you're able to play particular clips. Let me just. switch everything off shift button and you do stop all and everything will stop and go back to orange but give you a close look 
um, at how it will look like when you record. So if you say you want to record in that bank, press down the record, highlight a particular clip bank, and it will light up ready for you to be able to record in that particular clip to add certain um, tracks to it. So that's it. Um, tell me what uh, you think. If you want me to look more into the um, APC itself, let me know and I'll do a video on that. I will bring up a video to show you it mapped with um, Logic Pro. Cheers.